when a Covington woman felt chest pain, she called 911, but she doesn't even remember doing that. Yeah, then, and then when her heart stopped beating for nearly a half hour, the medical team did not give up on her. And today she got to thank them for saving her life. Meg Ferris was there. It was definitely a group effort. Everybody in the ER was involved. It's the second time Renee Reed has been in the emergency room at Lakeview Regional Medical Center. She doesn't remember the first. I keep saying this, you all didn't give up. You just kept going. Right. And that just means so much to me. It gives me... Gives me my life back with my children. She came back to the hospital today for a gathering of the medical team that saved her life. There was the Acadian Ambulance EMS team that got her from her home and started CPR when she coded. It's a very, very surreal thing seeing her talking and walking. and It's amazing and it's a great feeling. It reinforces every single reason I even wanted to do this job. There was nurse practitioner Michelle Accardo who said COVID has made being in healthcare difficult with the losses. But Renee surviving with no brain damage has reinvigorated her. And there was the emergency room physician who, along with his team, did CPR for 25 minutes. It's pretty exhausting. We were rotating out nurses, respiratory therapists, our techs, everybody. As soon as they got tired and the compressions started getting a little inefficient, we would switch out. Nothing was working. Then a last ditch effort. The medical team tried something not usually done. They shocked her with not two, but four paddles. So now she's been through leukemia, two heart attacks and a stroke, and I mean, she's probably taking on a lot more. It's gonna be remarkable to have holidays together and, and especially when it could have gone a lot differently. I've got another chance with my family, and with my friends. The medical team did what it trained many years to do in the ER, but the impact goes for miles far away into each home of the many in Renee's life. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. It is not her time. Renee had get this 100% blockage in the largest coronary artery. Doctors put a stent in it to open it up.